so we are still in Malawi uh, there's a delay because they said uh, there's a problem with the right engine and the engine is working on that I don't know how long that would take well that's weird I never want to hear about engine problems when I'm flying that's the last thing I would want to hear about so I don't know let's wait and see what happens I have nothing against Malawi Malawian Airlines the people of Malawi this is my personal experience flying with Malawian Airlines and I thought I should share it out if you get offended by this I'm sorry that was not my intention so I'm finally at the airport and it's about 5.15 a.m. Initially when I was booking my flight, uh, my flight was to leave at 6.15 a.m. But yesterday when they were sending me the trip reminder, they said the flight is is leaving at 7. So I'll go with 7. So I hope I'm not late. I just hope I don't miss my flight because they're the ones who sent me the trip reminder and they said my flight leaves at 7 and not 6.15 as I had planned earlier or as they had indicated earlier. So yeah. A few moments later. I have to rush because I thought that the flight was leaving at 7 because that's the reminder from the reminder they said it was leaving at 7. So I thought like there was a change of flight. But now they see it's leaving at 6.15. There was actually no point to rush because it's now 6.29. We're going to board right now. So we get in and the first thing I notice is the safety instructions. I love checking safety instructions every time I'm boarding. They have this very old, if you can see, very old leaflets and one is written Malawi Airlines, another one is written Malawian Airlines. It's confusing, right? Okay, that's not important. I also notice that it's very dirty. Okay, just look at this. dirty and worn out windows old and worn out dirty seats as well walk out the door you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand So after having breakfast, I decided to go to the toilet. This was the most disgusting bit of this flight. Ugh. The first thing I noticed is that the water in the hand wash sink is stagnant. It doesn't drain. Ugh. The toilet is dirty and smelly look at this soap oh my goodness dirty old and slimy well i didn't end up using the toilet because well i cannot just risk getting infections and i had to wait until we land in lilongwe maybe i would get a better toilet there
I couldn't wait to land. I couldn't wait to land. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So we boarded our flight to Johannesburg in South Africa and the first thing that caught my attention is how old and dirty the seats were again and worn out which could be a very good breeding place for bed bags. Make sure your mask is fitted correctly before attempting to help others. Are you sure about that? At this point, I'm just wondering or doubting whether the oxygen masks actually work. So we are still in Malawi. Uh, there's a delay because they said uh, there's a problem with the right engine and the engine is working on that. I don't know how long that would take. Well, that's weird. I never want to hear about engine problems when I'm flying. That's the last thing I would want to hear about. So I don't know. Let's wait and see what happens. At this point, to be honest, I was so scared and I was hoping that we would get to South Africa well. So anytime we could go through some slight turbulence, I would be like, oh my goodness, this is it. I could not even sleep on this flight, keeping in mind that you had been told that, oh, there was a slight problem with the engine. So, yeah. The staff are very friendly. But so this is how I got myself in a Malawian airline flight. I booked Ethiopian Airlines only to realize that on this route, it's being operated by Malawian Airlines. And that's how I got myself in this flight. Finally, we were landing in Johannesburg and I couldn't be more happy or more relieved when we touched down in Johannesburg. I was so happy that finally I was leaving this aircraft. Probably never to use the airline again. So out of curiosity, I went to check the ratings on their social sites and their comments and probably share my experience there and uh, see if they could do something like improve on the airline. So when I went to their Facebook, the first 10 recommendations are does not recommend, does not recommend, does not recommend. All the first 10. And you know what's weird? None of them is responded to. Like, nobody bothered to uh, comment or respond. Malawian Airlines didn't bother to comment or respond to the complaints that the client said. Well, like I said, 
this is not meant to like really portray it in a negative way but it's up to you to judge and just decide it's just a point of information and i hope malawian airlines works on their on their aircraft and on their services and at least responds to people's messages thank you so much for watching this video kindly subscribe share and i hope malawian airlines does something about their aircrafts and their services until next time bye bye see you in my next vlog tomorrow <music>